Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Today we're in Benoni touring an absolutely massive home that sprawls across 2.5 hectares. This presidential home boasts five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, eight garages and so much more. But before we tour the home behind us, let me talk about how you can find your new home on privateproperty.co.za. And now it's time. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. And here we are finally within the entrance hall of this incredible home right here in Benoni. Walking in, there's one word that comes to mind and one word only, and that word has to be presidential. There's a timeless design here and an amazing use of space, but space there is and lots of it. This home is perfect for people with large families or that just want a home that make them feel like they've finally reached the top of their respective career. This is the entry hall. We've got these two wraparound staircases really dominating the eye. But right in front of you is your grand dining hall and that's where we're going to start off. So follow me down this flight of stairs. And this is the grand dining hall and grand it most certainly is. Right in front of me we've got the staircase wrapping around and these pillars. And both the staircase and the pillars have been hand chiseled by an artist that has come to this house and actually chiseled the pieces off themselves. Up above me we've got a three story tall ceiling and a chandelier draping down with real crystals being inset into that. It is absolutely amazing, no expense has been spared and this is most certainly a place you want to come with your guests and have them feel the opulence of the home. Right in front of you, floor to ceiling windows inbuilt and inlaid wood looking out onto a courtyard with its very own fountain. Absolutely amazing but there is still a sense of purpose or practicality when it comes to this because you don't have to have the food come down the stairs. Instead, there's a hidden hallway right here leading to the kitchen and that's where we headed off next. And in a home this fantastic, this opulent, even the walkways aren't without their very own splendor. Right here I'm standing next to two sets of doors. On my left, two sets of doors that lead out onto your back courtyard with your very own fountain. And on my right, this set of doors lead onto your central courtyard surrounded by your kitchen, living areas and entry hall as well as a grand dining room hall. And it also has not only nature, but its very own central fountain. And now, however, we are in our kitchen area and it has so much to talk about. Let's get, I'd say, the utility spaces out of the way first. On my right hand side, down that hall, you've got your pantry slash scullery area and it is broken up into three separate rooms. Your first room is for dry goods with plenty of cupboard space, storage and shelves. Your second is a laundry room. Now that laundry room has places not only for your appliances, but a separate washroom. And then you've got your scullery area, a huge wash tub, all of the places for your under counter storage and plenty, plenty of cupboard space. You also have two walk-in cold rooms. So if you're entertaining a lot of people, this home has got you covered. But coming back into the kitchen, let's talk appliances. On my right hand side, you've got inbuilt Smeg appliances, coffee machine, microwave, as well as oven. We've got marble countertops all throughout, beautiful veins through those marble countertops. And right in front of me, you've got a wooden chopping board. I like this addition. It's not something we see too often. Then we've got all the usuals. We've got your farm style sink, or prep sink, should I say, up above, stunning chandeliers, and then another inbuilt, or should I say, classic Smeg appliance, gas stove with extractor fan hidden behind 
all of this wood cladding, which is quite a nice addition, under counter storage. And then to my left, a beautiful breakfast nook, not only surrounded by chandeliers, but windows overlooking those green luscious gardens, sliding doors over here, giving you access to your pantry. This is without a doubt, a perfect spot for you to sit down, relax, and have breakfast with the family when you don't want to utilize one of the dining room areas. But now that we've wrapped up the kitchen, let's move forward a bit into the first living area, and that's your cozy, comfortable, and perfectly placed since it's right next to the kitchen, lounge area. But if you're looking for the perfect place to wind down after those lavish parties, this is the space for you cozy, quaint, yet spacious, and beautifully equipped not only with a built-in raw wood cabinet, but with all those tech features we've come to expect in homes of this caliber. Up above me, we've got a stunningly detailed ceiling with inbuilt speakers. Off to my left is that central courtyard that I was speaking about, except this time we've got two sliding doors opening them up letting you enjoy that and then another two doors that open up outwards onto your patio and that stunning pool i love this area but if you're looking for something more formal or if you're looking for possibly a waiting area or sitting room for your guests and through these doors is exactly that and here it is your reception slash waiting area now just to the right of the front door over there it is located so it's in the perfect spot for your guests to sit down and relax and it is cozy for something like that. You've got a fireplace and this stunning feature wall. It's almost encircled by the pillars as well as this stunning chandelier just above me. But my favorite feature without a doubt has to be this right here. Floor to ceiling, almost wall to wall glass with a stunning piece of geometric design in the center made out of wood. And the circle piece of that geometric design looks immediately onto your room flow pool and the end of your garden. And you can even just see peeking over your wall the dam area in Benoni. I have to admit, the design and the thought when they made this home is incredible. However, when we're done waiting, we need to do something fun. We need to get the blood pumping. We need to get that excitement. So if you think you've been blown away so far, trust me, you've seen nothing yet because up next is the games room, the cinema room, the bar area, which is my favorite area. And there's something really cool there with how they've played with the light and the design of the garage. So follow me because we're heading there next. Coming through the double doors, immediately off to your left, you've got a guest bathroom, beautifully equipped and in the perfect space, because right next to the bar, you've got your single vanity and your toilet. And here we are in this incredibly large, but amazingly specked out bar area slash games room. So onto my right, we've got a massive atrium area, two chairs sitting there, but windows that reach up two stories, letting in so much natural light. If you're looking for more natural light, well, we've got two sliding doors leading off to your patio and your balcony, but I'm sure what's catching all of your attention has to be the bar area behind me. Spacious, amazingly equipped, and really covered in vintage cash registers. You can go in there, whip up your favorite drinks, and bring them out to all of your guests. There's a lounge suite area and space for not just a pool table, but also an air hockey table. One of my favorite features, however, has to be your glass framed garage. Why wouldn't you want to check out the amazing collection of vintage cars that you have? And then if you want to take it to something a little bit more personal, if you want to relax, kick back and watch a movie, well, we've got our very own cinema room. Let's check it out. Here we are in this plush carpeted and exceptionally comfortable cinema room. 14 seats all around clad in red leather, projector screen in front of me, surround sound system and some incredible artwork. But my favorite feature has to be the twinkling starlight roof just overhead. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna kick back, relax and watch a film. And what I think you guys should do is head outside, catch some vitamin D, maybe pour yourself a cocktail and I'll meet you there. Leave 
even your entertainment spaces behind you, we can talk about this outdoor patio area. Not only is there plenty of space for you to sit back, relax and catch some rays or kick back and enjoy a cocktail, but we've got this beautiful room flow pool overlooking an incredible and expansive garden area. You have your very own chapel, which is something we have never seen on the show before. But we've also got some of those killer features. We've got a pizza oven, we've got a beautiful prep sink, as well as a prep table area a spot for you to sit back, kick back, and enjoy a bonfire. And then all of that entertainment space over there, as well as your very own built-in braai. This is an area meant to be used, meant to be enjoyed. And if you've got the kiddies, you've got a jungle gym as well as trampoline for them to scamper about and play in. And that is not all, because right now with us wrapping up the downstairs area, it's time to head up that incredible twisted spiral staircase to see what the bedroom areas have in store for us. And that sound marks the time for us to be reviewing the first sleeping area. But on our way there, there's a couple of small features we're going to run through. But this wing of the house houses a couple of key features we need to talk about. First and foremost is another guest bathroom, a single vanity as well as toilet is what you'll find there. Through two beautiful glass inlaid double doors, you have your very own office. Spacious, private and with a view of the garden itself. And then right next to the office when you want to just work out those work stresses, you've got your very own private gym. But our first stop has to be the downstairs bedroom, which is the first one we're viewing. The best way to describe this space is regal. There's enough space for a large bed and several lounges, which only add to the opulence. This bedroom has several windows and a beautifully large sliding door that leads out onto a gorgeous garden. Like the rest of the rooms in this grand home, it has an ensuite bathroom. This bathroom would rival most main ensuites with the ornate double vanity and gorgeous freestanding bath. Now with that room out the way, that staircase is calling our name. Yeah, we are finally upstairs and I have to admit it is absolutely beautiful. It's possibly something you have to see to believe. Up above me a stunning chandelier set in a dome ceiling with that light being broadcast down. All the stairs have light embedded into them and then we've got incredible views looking downstairs both in front as well as behind me. What I think we're going to do though is let's walk right, take a look at those bedrooms there and then we'll come all the way back to this wing of the home. Follow me. And yeah, at this wing of the home, you see two bedrooms and right in the center of them is this beautifully placed pajama lounge. Chandeliers, down lighting, speakers in the ceiling and your very own private balcony overlooking an incredible patch of greenery is pretty much what this area consists of. Nice, cozy and a perfect entertainment space for these two bedrooms without you having to take the long walk downstairs. This home is massive and I think places like this are sorely needed. So it's such a nice inclusion. What we're going to do is let's take a look at this bedroom and then we'll walk back and take a look at that bedroom before we head off to the master wing of the home. The bedroom on this wing is without a doubt huge. It might as well be a suite. While it's not north facing, you still have plenty of air and light coming through thanks to the many windows and access to a private balcony. But what makes this bedroom so incredible is the connected dressing room with several built-in cupboards and the lush ensuite bathroom. The marble bath, day lounger and access to yet another balcony only adds to the luxurious experience. The second bedroom on this wing is slightly smaller than the first, but just as grand. It also has plenty of space, its own balcony, a stunning dressing room, and a beautiful ensuite bathroom.
And with that wing of the home wrapped up, it's time to head off to this side. And this side is really special because it contains the master suite. Follow me. And here we are in the third bedroom of the house spacious, comfortable, stunning wood floors, tall ceilings, your very own private balcony, but the features don't stop there. The space in this bedroom itself really does afford a lot of different design choices. You've got places for you to study, places for you to relax and watch TV, and even places for you to enjoy some of your hobbies or activities. And it's time to wash up or get ready. You've got a walk-in closet with ample cupboard space, as well as your very own ensuite bathroom with a jacuzzi bathtub, single vanity toilet, as well as walk in shower and another balcony out there not a lot of homes have a bathroom with a balcony on it but let's take a look at the views from this balcony before we head all the way back and finally take a look at the master suite this wing of the home the master wing has some incredible features. One is this upstairs lounge. It won't include the cat as a feature, but it is pretty nice to see him popping his head up from under the table. But we've got this lounge area with access to the balcony. The balcony sliding glass doors open up and then you overlook the pool, but you also get an incredible view of the lake. All of this, you can sit back, relax and enjoy, but all of these spaces are best enjoyed with a drink in hand and to that effect there is a kitchenette just behind us here behind this wall fully equipped with not only sink but also your appliances so you've got a built-in fridge you've got a microwave you've got everything you might need to not have to make the long journey downstairs to that kitchen then if we walk off to the bedroom on the right hand side on the way there which is where we headed right now there's an office to the left hand side so if you need to do some work you can do it upstairs you can sit back and then really get to work without any interruptions or even without having to go down to your downstairs office. But what I do think it's time to do is let's make our way to that bedroom. We'll point out where that office is and then let's take a look at what the bedrooms on this side of the house have in store for us. Right here is your office. And here we are finally in the master suite of this incredible Benoni mansion. This is more of a palace than a mansion. A master suite with two chandeliers, uninterrupted views of the lake, as well as a balcony spanning the length of the home. You can see all the space in this bedroom that really the bed looks absolutely tiny. You've got your very own lounge suite, your very own fireplace, and then a TV to complement it all. I think I do want to mention now that we're nearing the end of this video is this home is going to be sold with the majority of the furniture here. So if you're not really into styling your own homes, if you want to buy a mansion and move right in, this home is already ready for you. But this bedroom has one killer feature and it is not the central air conditioning. It is through these double doors right here. Follow me. Here we are finally in the master bathroom of the master suite, a room fit for a king or a queen. There's so many features here I'd love to mention. One, this bathtub made out of a solid piece of volcanic rock which holds heat in the bathtub. So you never need to worry about making a bath, taking a walk down to the kitchen and then coming up and finding out that your bath is cold travesty I know but that isn't the only feature because right over here you've got a whole sun area a whole bunch of windows fit into the wall looking out onto your garden but also a skylight so it is so bright so airy it has got such a nice feel to it something else I love are these inbuilt tiles on all of the arches throughout the throughout the bathroom it looks incredible and then take a look at the space this bathroom is the size of so many people's actual bedrooms it is insane we've got spaces here for you to get ready but then double vanities plenty of under counter storage two separate mirrors and then that right over there this here is an inbuilt dual shower 
double door shower. I don't think we've ever seen a shower before with two doors, but this whole contraption here also serves as a steam room. So you'll see over there and over there are the vents for the steam room. You'll close these, get a really nice tight seal, and then you can release all those stresses. But when it's time to get ready, well, we're heading off this way. Because this right over here, this here is your walk-in closet, a his and her section with a window behind you. It is everything any homeowner could ever want. It is absolutely incredible. And it also brings us to the end of this amazing episode. So join us downstairs so we can tell you how to become the next owner of this incredible house. And unfortunately, that brings us to the end of this incredible episode. But before we tell you how you can purchase this house, let's talk about what you're gonna get. Five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, an eight car garage, and so much more. This home is absolutely incredible, an entertainer's dream, perfect for large families, and for someone who just wants to relax away from the hustle and bustle of the busy cities. But if you'd like to purchase this home, what I'd like you to do is contact Gretchen Pipers and Eunice Abaya, all of their details on screen right now and make a reservation. And a huge shout out goes out to Gretchen as well as Eunice for allowing us to showcase this home and all of its amazing features to all of our loyal viewers. Now, what I'd like you guys to do is remember to like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see some more incredible South African homes and hit that notification bell so you never miss another episode of the Private Property Podcast or the Private Property Home Shopper Show. But from myself, Chad Riveros, thank you so much and we'll see you next time right here on the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Goodbye.